places to hide recording equipment. Small cameras are easy to find. Ones that are motion activated are a bit expensive but are readily available. Once you've found a motion activated micro camera for spying on your, the person you're attacking, you need to find a place to hide it. Putting a hole in a drawer or a vase doesn't work as well in real life as it does in the movies. So it's easier to find something that's easy to poke a hole in and is filled with mostly air. A Kleenex box makes an excellent choice. Removing the Kleenex, inserting the device, poking a small hole for the camera to stick out of is pretty simple. Once you put the device in place, it's going to likely last at least a week in the room of a person that has the sniffles and could last several months in the person of, who's fairly healthy. By using a motion activated camera, you can probably deploy the camera and pick the box up in a week when you've actually spied on whatever it is that you're looking to spy on. It's a very large box. As long as the person's unlikely to actually pick the thing up, you can load it pretty full of stuff, including batteries, which will get you even more camera length. This is a great device for hiding all sorts of things. The cell phone jammer that I showed off in one of my other videos hides in here very well with, with a battery source. Because it's a puffs box, nobody will worry when the janitor goes through and picks it up. So it makes it a pretty easy way to spy on somebody. If you've got a puffs box that showed up in your office recently and you don't remember purchasing it, you might want to check it for equipment.